Hi there, Sue here from Sue's Dog from my kitchen. Um, just had to rush round there because I haven't got my mouse with me today. So I was trying to do it as quickly as possible, getting round the table to be on the camera. Anyway, so today I've just thought I would do a quick video. Um, it is quarter to seven in the evening. And I just thought I would make some liver because um, I'm going to uh, have liver and onions and bacon for my dinner today. So I thought I might as well show you how to do it in case you just don't know. I don't know. Do you know? Anyway, so I have lamb's liver here. I much prefer lamb's liver over um, pig's liver, but that's just choice. Lamb's liver has a milder taste than pig's liver, so I'm just choosing lamb's liver today. I hope you can see me, because the light seems to shine right above my head and seems to make, make it look weird on camera, so I just hope that that's not an issue for you. So anyway, today we are doing lamb's liver with bacon and onion, and we're going to actually try and keep it low carb, so we're going to have couscous with it instead of mash or potatoes. Um, and I'm going to do a selection of vegetables. So we're going to have some peppers and some cabbage with it, which I'm going to chop up all together and cook it all together. Okay, so let's crack on and we'll open this liver. We won't be using all of this. I'll just take out as much as I need. Um, Right, so I'm just going to take out as much as I need for two people. So it is already cut, but I always cut it smaller. So just take it out. If you don't like the feel of liver and you're a bit squeamish, you might not like this video. <laughs> so that's enough for two people. Um, that last portion of liver in there will be cooked up for my dog, okay? Because um, my dog Enki likes liver. So I'm just going to slice this thinly, and if you slice it small, like this, um, it cooks a lot quicker. Um, you don't want to, I don't like my liver cooked to death, I don't like it like it's old leather that you can do your shoes with, basically. So I like to cut it up quite small, like, you know, thin. So I just slice it at an angle to make it fit. Okay, that's how I cut it. I've always cut it that way. And that way I, I find it quite palatable. I find like sometimes when you have liver out, not that I ever eat liver out because I hate the way they cook it, um, it's always too tough and it's always dry unless you go to a really fancy restaurant. Um, but I don't think there's any of those around here. <laughs> so, so that's quite a big piece. Looks quite gory, doesn't it? I do like a horror movie. <laughs> I am a horror movie fanatic, by the way. Um, ask anybody in my family what my favourite kind of movies are, and they are definitely horror movies, and um, I love watching horror movies. In fact, I go to sleep with them on. <laughs> they send me to sleep. I usually turn the sound down so I don't wake my partner up. But I'll always have one on or I'll listen to it through earphones, through the, um, through here, through the iMac, through the Mac, you know, Mac Pro, MacBook Pro, that's what it's called. So sometimes I will put earphones in and listen to it, but other times I'll just turn the volume down and just have the film on. I know, he's, he's used to me now. I've always done that, ever since we met. I've always done that. So, he doesn't mind. <laughs> he finds it quite quirky. I'm quite a quirky person, I feel. <laughs> so anyway, what you need to do is just slice up the liver. Um, that's going to be enough, actually. So once you've done that, okay, you need to season it with some seasoned flour. So I'm going to wash my hands because they're looking a bit gory. And um, I'll be back in a sec. Yuck, yuck, yuck. 
So I have had some, I've got some fat in this pan that's been heating up, so I'm going to put that back on the cooker. I might have to adjust the cooker so you can actually see what I'm doing over by the cooker. Um, it's too far this way. So I've got some flour here, which I'm going to put on this plate that I've already got out. So I'm just, you just put a bit of flour on there. There's no measurement for this. You can just put as much or as little as you want. Then a pinch or two of salt, like so. Then just mix it up, okay? And then just get your liver and just put it on the plate. And then what you want to do is just coat the flour on the liver. And what this does, it seals the liver and it also makes for a really... This thickens the um, gravy that you're going to be making. So this actually makes the gravy nice and thick that you're going to use to just put on over the liver at the top, at the end. Okay? So that's what you're doing here. So you're coating the liver to make it seal it and also to use it as a thickener. So it does a double job here. Okay? So once you've done that, just leave that for a minute because then we'll, um, yeah, but actually we're going to get the bacon and we're going to cut the bacon up because I don't want it whole, I want it in like slices. So I've got how many slices here? You only need like two or four. One, two, three, four, five. There's five slices of bacon here. So I'm just going to slice them up really quick, uh, just like that. You can have your bacon whole if you want, but I like it like this. And this is smoked back bacon that has a really nice smell and it adds to a really nice taste. Um, I always use back bacon, so any bacon recipe, anything with bacon in it in any of my recipes is always back smoked. Okay? Because I love smoked back bacon because it smells so good. It adds a lot of flavour to the food that you're cooking. And then break them up, like, so they're not all stuck together, okay? But you don't want them all stuck together, so you want to try and break them up as much as possible before you put them in the pan. I just need to move that fat. It's getting a bit hot, okay? So you can cook yours in any fat that you want, but today I'm actually using some dripping. And this is, um, what is it? Angel sea. And we'll see choice. I'll show you in a sec. Because obviously I'm in Wales. If you look on my videos, you will see that I come from the Dobromyth Riverside, which is in the Snowdonia National Park. Okay? And this, so I'm trying to do all Welsh recipes as much as possible, or use Welsh ingredients. So today I'm using this Anglesey Choice beef dripping for our liver. Okay? And it already smells really, really nice. But you don't have to use this. You can use... Um, the vegetables are going to be done in coconut oil, but this actual meat is going to be done in the dripping. Okay, so I just thought I'd tell you that so you know, just in case you need to know where my, what I'm frying my liver in today. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll, we'll um, just move this here for a minute and we'll, um, we'll cut up the vegetables, okay? Here. So I'm going to use the green board, or you can use the brown board, you probably don't have this selection of boards in your kitchen, but because this is a catering kitchen I have all these different coloured boards, and I'm going to use a brown handled knife, but it doesn't matter. So I'm going to cut up, I'm only using half each of these peppers, okay, and I'm going to use two onions. Okay, and I'm going to use a quarter of the cabbage, alright? So I'm not going to use even half of this, I'm only going to use a quarter, so I might as well cut it now. And this is a Savoy cabbage, this is my favourite cabbage actually. So those three bits were used for another day, 
And we're only going to use this amount because we have all this other stuff. So just take out the core. Now remember what I said in previous videos, keep all the outside. So I'm only taking one outside leaf off and the core. And I'm going to put it in my stock pot. Okay. And then I'm going to cut this up. I'm going to cut it quite thin because I want this to cook really, really quick. This is not going to be a very long dish. I want it done really quick. All right, so we're not going to make a meal out of this. Well, we're out, we actually are making a meal out of it. But I mean, we're not, we don't want to take forever to do it today. So that's the cabbage done. And that cook really quick. Then we're going to have half the green pepper, half a red pepper, and half a yellow pepper. I love all these different coloured peppers. And I just buy the ones that are misshaped. I don't buy, like the fancy, you know, looking perfect shape, because it doesn't matter, you're actually just going to eat it. So unless you're doing it in a restaurant scenario, or you're trying to impress someone with your perfect peppers, um, just buy the, you know, the misshapen ones, they're so much cheaper. So I just buy these misshapen ones, so that's what I'm using today. Because uh, it doesn't really matter, because I'm going to slice them all up. Nobody's going to ever know that they were misshapen. So I'm just going to slice them up quickly. And it doesn't matter if there's a few seeds in there. Don't worry about that. Or a bit of white pith even. Don't worry about that either. <laughs> just cut them up. Slice them. Because we're, we're going to sort of stir fry this really quick. With the... Um, Couscous, which we're going to add some water to in a minute so it softens. And then I will get the wok out and we'll quickly stir fry these vegetables to have with our liver and bacon and onion. Okay, so that's that, all done. So you can use this sort of, you can use these vegetables for any dish, um, chicken or anything. doesn't matter what you're going to have them with, but today I'm having liver so that's what it's coming with. Um, I do have a wok here. Uh, hold on, I need to find it. This big one. I have this big one, and then I have another one in the other cupboard um, that's a bit smaller than this one. But today we'll just use this. So, first of all, I'm just going to wipe it out with some oil. And just um, use some kitchen roll to just wipe it out with, alright, because you don't want your vegetables to stick. So I always do this before I actually use the wok. So I always clean it with the oil, even though it's clean already, but I like to do it like this as well. And you want your wok really hot, so you might as well put it on now. Just wipe my fingers. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, so we need to put this other gas on. Let's hope it's playing ball today. Sometimes it lights, sometimes it doesn't. So we'll just use a taper. Got a very old fashioned cooker here, by the way. It does. It's not automatic. It's an old because it's a uh, catering cooker. It doesn't do doesn't heat things up automatically. So I'm going to turn the camera around a bit so you can actually see what I'm doing. So let me just adjust it so you can see the cooker. Okay, that's it. Sorry, it's all a bit, a bit funny, isn't it? <laughs> but this is the best way. I've got my oven on, look, you can actually see the flames. So, <laughs> so I'm just going to um, cut up these onions really quick. So I've got two red onions. You can use white onions. You don't have to use red onions. But I'm using red onions today because that's what I have. But you don't have to use them. You can use white onions. Or you can use um, shallots. I do have shallots. But um, they're a lot fiddlier. So I'm just using these today. So once you've peeled it, 
It shouldn't take a second or two. Uh, then you can just slice it any way you want. Okay, there's no specific way of cutting the red onions or white white onions. You can just cut them however you want. The same goes for this. You can just cut it the way you want. It doesn't have to be cut up the way I've just done it. You can cut it whatever you want. It's not. There's no set rules. Just do what you want. If you can't slice them, then just don't fret. Just find another way. And if you want them cut up really small, then go ahead and do it. It doesn't matter. As long as it tastes good at the end, that's all that matters. All right? So don't get hung up on the small stuff. Just, um, just cook. However you do it, just do it, okay? There's so many people think everything has to be perfect, but I can't do it because it doesn't come out right. It doesn't matter. Make mistakes is part of being a human. I'll just take that off, like me not watching my watch just then. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cut them down the middle, then I'm just gonna slice them like that. And you can cut them into tiny little pieces, but usually when you do wok cooking, you usually leave the food quite big. So I'm just going to slice them like that, okay? Then do the other onion, then slice that one, oops, like that. And then the other bit. So these are going to cook together, so they're going to be ready together. I've already boiled the kettle because what I'm going to do is once the, um, oops, once I've fried off the liver and stuff and the bacon, then I'm going to take it out of the pan and then I'm going to keep all the residue and I'm going to use that for my stock, all right, for my um, gravy, all right. But I do have a stock pot on there as well, which already has my vegetable stock in there and there's quite a lot in there now good so keep all of your leftovers so see all of these all of these skins these bits of pepper all of this keep everything don't throw anything away put it in your stock pot just like that because what a stock pot is it's something that you just keep adding to so this is vegetable stock and I just add this to all my gravy, sauces, whatever I'm cooking, just put it in there. I'm getting really hot now because um, when I first come in the kitchen, it was absolutely freezing cold. Now it's really warm, so I'm going to actually turn the oven off. Because <laughs> I've got these two rings on here as well. With where, you know, We're going to be doing this liver. So what we're going to do is going to aim to do both of these things at the same time. Okay, so I'm going to get two vessels, two spoons, two wooden spoons. I always use wooden spoons, even if I'm doing wok cooking, um, or actually, this is better for wok cooking, one of these. If you've got one of these at home, um, these are good for wok cooking, because you can get right under and move it round, okay? So, here you go. So we're gonna put a bit of coconut oil in this because we only just coated the bottom. So we're frozen coconut oil in there. And then we're also, with the couscous, I've got just this as the couscous, right? Take six minutes, ready in six minutes. So what I've done already is I've got the saucepan here and I'm gonna weigh out, say, well, I better weigh it for you because um, if it was, if I was doing it for myself, I would just fry it in the pan. But because I'm trying to teach you how to do this, I need to weigh everything, don't I? So I've got my weighing scales, and I'm just going to, let's see how much that is. Um, I haven't got my glasses. Yeah. Uh, I think that's four ounces or thereabouts. that do. I'm not sure what that is in grams at the moment, but that's four ounces of couscous, which I'm just going to put in this saucepan. And then all I'm going to do is, I've got some hot water here, so I'm just going to put some hot water on it, like that, all right? 
and then we're going to let it swell up. All right. Meanwhile, we'll get on with the um, liver. So we'll get the liver, which is in this on this plate, and we'll throw it in the frying pan. Okay. Just shake off some of the excess flour, and then we're going to cook it for just a few minutes, not many. I don't like my liver overdone. Always do it a bit pink. And then, so I'll just turn up the heat a little bit. And then we'll just move that around a bit, just like that. So I'm probably only going to keep it in the pan for like four minutes, five minutes at the max, maybe less. We'll see what it looks like in a minute. Okay, so we'll just do that. And while that's on, we'll put our wok on this side. And we'll keep this flour for a minute because we might need it to thicken for some more gravy. But then again, we might not. It's all trial and error. <laughs> so, I've made this many times though. So this isn't really an experiment today. This is like what I've already cooked loads of times. And I know that I don't like my liver tough, I really know that. So I cook it for the least amount of time as possible because what I do is I sort of semi-cook it, then I take it out, cook this bacon, and then I put the liver back in with that, and then I, I make the sort of um, the gravy while the liver's in there, all right? So in this pan, we're actually going to put in our um, onions first. Okay. The onions are the take the longer to cook, so we want to put them in first. So we've got in here uh, well it smells really nice. This is a very quick meal, this won't take long. And remember we have our couscous in here which we're going to transport to this at the end, then we're going to drain it off. Alright? We don't really need to cook the couscous, we just try to soften it. Alright? Couscous doesn't take long to cook at all. So, that's it. And this is nearly done. Oh, it smells really lovely. With the liver and the onions. Gorgeous smell. I love the smell of this dish. Well, I wish you could smell it. Right, so you don't need much fat in the liver, right? Okay, because um, I put a bit of fat in there, but remember, because I've put flour in there, it's absorbed all of the fat. But, um, so I don't need to add any more. So I'm just going to let it cook like that. And we won't need any fat for the bacon either because um, it has fat in it, on it. So we'll just cook it. And then I'm going to take these out now. All right? Because to me, that's that's enough. All right? I don't want it to cook anymore. So I'm just going to take the... Um, I'll use this as well. Just take the, uh, the liver out. I'll show you it. So at the moment it's quite pink. But you don't really want it overdone. Well I don't. You can overdo yours. And that's how I've done it at the minute, okay? This is going to go back in there once the bacon's done. So let that rest. Put the bacon in. Whoops. Like so. Finish. 
here we have our onions, okay? So our onions are cooked. So we're going to take them out for a minute and put them with the liver on this plate. Because we don't want to brown them any more than that. And they're actually cooked now. So we'll just take them out. Like that, 
And then we need to put some salt and pepper in it. Like that. You can add whatever herbs you want. If you want herbs, you can just eat this. This would make a nice snack, actually. Right, so that's done now, that. So what we're going to do here now is just add a bit of water. Watch out for this. No, I'm not adding water, we're adding our stock. <laughs> I have stock here, so let's just take some stock out. Just the stock, we don't want the, the bits of stuff that isn't cooked yet. That's probably enough. And then in a minute, we're just going to put in our um, liver. We're going to put our liver back in here. And that should thicken it. It's already got brown because the bacon and having the other stuff in there has made it go brown. Just turn up your veg. And now we're going to put back in the liver and onions, okay, into this pan. So I keep it separate because... I, I've got enough here to last, well, for two days. I wouldn't, I wouldn't eat all of this in one day. So tomorrow I might not want to have um, this, this um, stir fry. I might want to just have some potatoes or something with this. So I could boil up some little potatoes and have them with this, with some different veg. And then I could just keep this, what's left of this, in the fridge and have it for lunch. So this is the reason why I don't mix them together. Because I'm a, I don't want them mixed together. But you can mix them together if you want, but I just don't think it looks good either when you put it on a plate all mashed up together just wouldn't look very pretty. So I like keeping it separate like this. So this is nearly done. So what I'm going to do is come back in a minute and show you the finished product. Okay, so I'll see you in a minute. Hello again. Um, I just thought I'd show you before I take it, put it on the plate, what it actually looks like finished. This is the liver and onions and bacon. And as I said before, it has grown quite thick because of the, um, the flour on top of the liver. Okay, so I'm just going to spoon some onto this plate here. Okay? So, I'm going to use this spoon. So I'm just going to put, put some on this plate here, so you can see what it looks like with the finished product. Okay? So, that's enough. <laughs> That's a portion, okay? So I don't eat much, so that's enough for me. <laughs> so this might last for a little while. And then in here, we have the vegetables that I just cooked up with the couscous in it. And the couscous is very filling, um, but it's better, you know, if you don't want to eat potatoes or anything like that, it's quite low carb as well. So I'm just going to put a small portion on there, okay? So that's it. So here we have, all right, let's just go back over it. So in here we have liver and bacon with onions, okay? And here we have cabbage, peppers, couscous, all just fried together in the wok with um, whatever oil you want, with a bit of butter, just put in. And so always soak your couscous first. You don't need to cook your couscous first. Um, just let it soak up some water, then just put it in with your vegetables in your wok. Um, so this is a really quick meal, and I have loads of couscous left there with vegetables in, which we'll have um, tomorrow for lunch and maybe dinner. Um, and also my partner will have some liver as well. And liver is really, really good for you, and very, very cheap. 
and I love it. And look how much I've made. And I have so there we have it. So you have a lovely meal, very, very cheap, very easy to make, very quick, um, and very nutritious. So I hope you liked my video today. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below if there's anything you would like me to make or if you want to know the ingredients for any dishes on my videos. Um, I will leave the um, ingredients below when people have asked me for the ingredients if they can't follow along with the video. Um, so basically, I hope you enjoyed my cooking and I love making these videos and I, I want to keep making them for you. If there's anything you would like me to cook, um, you know, with old-fashioned recipes and things, then just uh, ask me in the comments below um, and I will endeavour to cook it for you. So I hope you enjoyed my video today and I will see you next time. Um, look out for whatever else I'm going to be cooking. I'm not sure what I'm going to cook yet. This is what we're actually eating for our dinner. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed my cooking and I'll see you again soon. So, um, sorry, I've got to come round there to turn the camera off today because um, it's on. <laughs> so, I haven't got my mouse with me. I'm a bit more organised than this. But this was a quick video that I wanted to do because um, I'm waiting for my partner to come home. And I just wanted to do a video really quick. And I thought, well, I might as well film it um, as well. So, that's the reason why this is done in such a hurry. <laughs> anyway... Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. So goodbye for now. So bye.